Welcome back to Primal Gaming and Primal Completes a Boiner's Blob. Now, unfortunately, the recording I did for this episode was actually really quite terrible um, in terms of the audio. So, I'm going to redo these two levels. So, I had completed um, the boss of the last level and. Um, and been through these two levels, but I'll uh, redo them so you can all see them. Except for the boss, I'm not going to do him again. Oh, that's interesting. So, this episode last time actually had a little problem in that um, you didn't actually have the blob. Um, so it was actually quite cool to not have the blob. Um, just added a bit more uh, flavor etc to the uh, to the level it, I, I actually found it really quite cool um, and I wish there were more levels like it but um, we've got him again so there you go um, so yes I yeah I finished the uh, the bird boss it took me a long damn time to do are we doing this again? That's right. Put this down here so I can actually get safely down there. There we go. Um, and the other thing I was saying was that this this um, zone very strongly reminded me of a game called Mechanarium, um, which is an amazing game. If you haven't seen it or haven't played it. I strongly recommend it um, because it's worth it. And I believe there's a chest there, and by dropping it, you got it. No, I do have to stop in between. <laughs> I did stop in between last time. Oh, they're in sync now. Oh, too far. I'm glad the blob doesn't set them off. Oh, if it did, it'd be kind of useful. him to press the buttons. There we go. Boy. into that. Thank you, thank you I guess. Um. So, that's, oh that's right. Is so I can actually get across this uh, spikes. This one was a uh, very sneaky. Um, 
can push it the other way, it looks like. That way I can get up here. Push this over here. And I'll go up and then it'll go up also. This chest, for some reason, I am um, dead on. Now this time. I think that's where we got the blob back. Yeah. Oh. And the uh, the chests fell from the sky there, so that uh, you could um, collect them. got a new ability here which uh, <laughs> was so funny the amount of times that I actually um, got killed here was just incredible because I kept making the same dumb mistake oh, crap. like that there we go um, yeah I kept making the same dumb mistake so um, the other thing was these cages contained uh, other blobs. So you throw a um, a blue bean at them, and uh, you can you can free them. Well, they turn into the cloud and all that jazz. So obviously, since I did get all the chests, I can actually uh, freely skip them now. So. Hmm, a jack. It'll just allow me to um, redo these levels quickly, just to show you the, the basics, and um, and then get back to the normal ones. I'm hoping that my recording is going to be okay this time, otherwise I'm going to have to play them again again. I do like the uh, the shield, it's quite cool. Over to the left there was a chest. Which I don't need to do because I've already got him. This one... Was either a chest or more blobs, because I think there was five blobs in each one. Now he's loose up there. You can roll down there, press the button. And blobby over here. Yeah, the um, one thing that is peculiar about this game is it is a game for kids. No. No denying that at all. Um, but some of the content is just way too beyond um, what a kid should better do. Like the bosses, they were just. The third boss was insanely difficult. The timing had to be perfect, everything had to be perfect. It is three bean flavors, and it was just. Ugh. Quite stressful. I think I, I think I actually found it easier than um, the second world boss which is interesting. Now, I haven't actually done this level so I'm back in uncharted territory. Shit and 
Getting up, dismantling the ladder causes me a lot of grief. Normally when you dismount the ladder, huh? It, um... Behaves a little bit differently. Okay, we got some other blobs. Now, if I if I refer to them as lady blobs, it's because oh, right, I guess I don't have to handle him. Yeah, if I refer to them as lady blobs, that's just because um, the original blob game that I grew up with was um, the rescue of Princess Blobette, where um, the boy and the blob are rescuing the princess. So it's that that's why I'll be saying um, referring to them as female if I do such a thing. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Um, that thing. Because it looks like that. That thing's presumably a wall. Yes, slightly dangerous section there. Yep. Had to go further against that wall, I think. Oh, splat. One thing I tend to find with games is that it's very easy to get impatient with them and in doing so, oh it's not actually a bloody thing, and in doing so, um, god damn it, and in doing so, try and do things faster and when you do it faster, you are less precise and of course it's just a circular failure. Oh no, it is a wall. Just terrible. See, how many times have I failed this section now? <laughs> Quite a few. There we go. Oh, and I landed on him because, of course, I did. It's not exactly. Oh, get in the thing. It's not complicated, um, but the more I play this game, the less I actually think it is in any way suitable for a kid to play, because it's just bloody hard. Do you even want to eat that? There you go. Um, what can I do to get rid of you things? I'm going to use the jack. That could work. Oh, crap. Oh, it looks like I can just put the jack down and they'll be like, yeah, okay. And slide into it. Which is interesting. I wonder if that uh, technique is going to be usable elsewhere. That. Looks like I might need to get through with the cannon. Iron hole! What the hell is that creepy thing? Oh my god! That is terrifying. That, boys and girls, is what nightmares are made out of. Actually, what I'll do... Make a little fucking gun, Spikes. <laughs> that is so creepy looking. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, they, that's a that's a teddy bear made out of nightmares. Can you eat jelly beans, you nightmare inducing beast? Even Get up. I'll throw this over here. This way. Right, so there's the spikes, aren't they? How do you terrifying critters handle um Come on. Okay. No problem. So I need to do go through the hole. Next we go um i do that. And walk this way. Oh god. Oh god. Um. <laughs> oh shit. These things are seriously nightmare fuel. So yeah, uh, I believe it's meant for kids, but in the same time may not be. Oh, splat. All my hard work to naught. Okay, that's not going to work. I don't keep remembering these creepy things can hop and jump and skip as well. Oh god, there's one of the you jerks. Oh shit, I didn't even see that. <laughs> he was plenty right in. Hey Birdie, I heard that you like Bums! 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 Like that, see? Told you. There you go, princess. Okay, so I would like a ladder, please. Ooh, I don't know if you'll actually survive it there. Oh yeah, maybe. Need it up here. Yeah. 
Can I? Come boy. You can do it. You can do it. Are you seriously stuck? Let me get warm. Use this bugger to go and press that switch. Okay, come on. Good boy. Oh, the jack. God, what a bad place to land in. Um, <laughs> gotta do that again. See the treasure there, buddy. It's it's just uh you can go and get it. Or do you need it to be probably need it to be bloody on the right hand side. Of course you do. You're a picky little bob. Do things quicker, you say. Come on, thing. Oh, Tika, look at that. Actually lands on our chest. Come here, idiot. They can get up my platform. Bombs to be rescued. Oh <laughs> god, a nightmare fuel.
Hmm. Will an anvil work? I'd say so. at all when I pushed. Oh shit, nearly walked straight into it. Must rescue the blob. Yeah. Savior of Blabunia, Citadel 3. Now these levels are actually quite long. A lot longer than I was expecting. But they are quite cool, I do like them. <laughs> If they do contain like MF fuel. We'll do this level. Whether it be whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, we're falling. Okay. That seemed unnecessary. What in the hell is that? the thing jump. Hey. Gonna get it to kill itself. get three of them going at the same time. No blocks or anything. Unless there is one also do we have a can? Yep, got a can. Swing me to the moon. That's a good start. I have to actually end the episode here on account of the fact that I can't get through the first door and I mean we're, we don't have a whole lot of time left. So yeah, um, I'm going to quickly go back down again and see if I can see anything. There's no way in hell that you can do three switches at once.
Unless... Um, okay, Bobby, let's try this. We'll, um, we'll see if this actually works. There you go. So it's actually that. Okay, so that's fine. But yeah, we'll do that next time. Um, this has been Primal Gaming Complete. Boy and his Bob. Hope you've enjoyed it. This uh, world is a lot more enjoyable than the other ones. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.